this video I'm going to talk about the revolution slider. Now in case uh, you don't know which uh, sliders are uh, based on the revolution slider, just go to sliders, uh, creative slider, shop slider 1 and shop slider 2. Yeah, and sorry about that, this is a local problem on my local host, I'll just go to the, um, the demo, the public demo, I will open the creative slider, shop slider 1 and shop slider 2. As you can see this, uh, I'm pretty sure you already know about uh, Revolution slider it's in my opinion one of the uh, best plugins out there it's uh, the slider actually plugin out there and I'm not just saying this because uh, it's a complete one it's actually this new uh, 5 uh, version is uh, totally great it's uh, it's really amazing I mean you can uh, you can make us a lot of things with it I highly recommend having a look at the uh, demo of the uh, revolution sliders which are of course on uh, their uh, website in case you don't don't know uh, just go to team punch and this is a uh, uh, the the author's uh, page now of course mm, yeah this is the one this is a premium plugin which is uh, included in uh, into Kalia Steam and uh, you can also have a have a, a look into their documentation but uh, we, I also included into our uh, theme uh, package. Uh, now back to the uh, back to the uh, demo. Uh, as you can see, we've included uh, multiple demos for the Revolution slider. I personally love it. Like I said, the new versions is focused uh, on uh, uh, lots of options, but also. Uh, trying to make it uh, more bloat free and um, improve its performance and uh, customization uh, uh, easier customization now to be honest I won't explain uh, nothing actually about this uh, uh, plugin just make sure you have it uh, installed when you install the theme you will be asked if you want to install the plugin so um, install it of course and then go to the revolution slider now you can create new sliders you can import a slider um, we've included in the package into the uh, slider exports folder uh, all the three sliders right here are zipped and ready to be imported right here so basically um, you can add as many sliders as you want um, this slider is continuously updated I recommend it for I don't know make your website much cooler and more um, dynamic of course as just a few tips you can uh, have some uh, adjust some uh, global settings um, you can uh, ah, sorry about that you can um, add a slider template from the uh, template database they already have it uh, uh, included and I don't know there are uh, lots of features for this slider uh, I will leave you to uh, discover it and um, like I said I recommend it I personally love it you'll love it for sure 
you'll love it too and um, let me now explain you how to actually add the revolution slider into the page builder so I'm just going to uh, I'm going to edit this page with page builder and I'm going to hide the header so I can have access to this option bar right here and I'm going to click on the not sure if you've seen that the gear icon which is the uh, settings uh, for this element so you can choose a background style in my opinion it's this opinion this uh, this uh, option is a bit uh, it's a bit uh, useless because uh, you'll probably add a full width uh, background um, then you can select which slider to uh, load into this uh, element whether you want a parallax effect and the bottom mask right here there are uh, multiple styles so um, you can choose uh, which one uh, you want from them there's a video about uh, background options and bottom masks uh, styles so I suggest watching that uh, uh, that video so there you have it um, like I said now to add not sure I think I skipped this part uh, to add the uh, element to the page click here search for the revolution slider and simply drag it to the uh, page as you can see it gives me an error but um, just select which one you want and that should be it again I would like to point out that uh, I have included the documentation of revolution slider into the documentation folder it's very important to have a look at that documentation and understand uh, much better now also um, guys from uh, Team Punch have uh, published an online uh, documentation you can just google it say um, revolution slider documentation and you can find it here uh, we have some uh, quick uh, frequently questions and the new documentation for 5.1 uh, versions so you have a lot of uh, things to read uh, I hope you're a patient uh, guy, a person, uh, a patient person, sorry, and um, you're willing to learn more about this uh, this slider. As like I said, uh, it's uh, it's the best, not one of the best. It's actually the best uh, slider out there for uh, these kind of uh, animations and for sure uh, the plugin will get uh, from better to better these guys are awesome they're updating uh, this plugin uh, very often and they usually fix all the bugs and again simply use the use this element as it's uh, an awesome, uh, an awesome uh, slider so thanks for watching, hope uh, probably you had some expectations about this, uh, this uh, video but uh, like I said with all that I can explain about this uh, plugin would not compare to what's inside here so uh, thanks for watching and uh, if you have any troubles uh, with this element uh, try to subscribe to our support forums and in case it's a revolution slider bug of course we'll communicate with the uh, team punch uh, author and uh, I'll pass the debug to them and uh, if you also have any questions 
to ask me feel free to do so so thanks for watching again and uh, see you in the next one